Ladies and gents, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Obra Potato. This is John Schaefer's At The Gates. John Schaefer was the lead designer for the fantastic video game Civilization V, um, the fifth and probably the most popular in the series, I would say. It was probably the, uh, the defining turn-based strategy game. And this game has taken a lot of inspiration uh, from that, but is different in so, 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 so many ways. It is monstrously com complex. Uh, I can't even say the term. That is how complex it is. But we're going to give it uh, our best shot today. We're going to jump right into it. We're going to play as the Goths. And uh, our unique ability is that we start with 15 food and 100 treasure. I haven't unlocked any of these other tribes. But uh, yeah, there's a whole bunch of other stuff that you can unlock by doing stuff within the game. Um, it is worth noting before we just jump on into this game that this is not the full release of the game. So everything that you see you need to take with a little bit of a pinch of salt. Um, because... Things are, and probably will, change. Okay, so jumping into it, um, it's probably worth talking a little bit about the setting and about the map which we are about to see. This game is set uh, as the Roman Empire is crumbling, and it is your job to build up a comparable successor kingdom to the Roman Empire. The map is, I believe, randomly generated, and uh, so are a bunch of the events and placements and things around the map. So, let's talk a little bit about the map. It looks pretty simple, the, um, the user interface is pretty unobtrusive, looks pretty simple, right? Well, looks can be deceiving, as you, as you well know. Uh, this is your settlement, and you only get one. It's not like civilization with regards to founding other cities. This is all you're gonna have for the entire game. So, yeah, that's it. That's what you can do. Um, we can pack up and we can move it, I believe. Uh, but, however, um, I'm quite content just to just to leave just to leave things here at the moment. And um, let's go and have a little look at our clans. So. Uh, clans are basically uh, the way that your city or your settlement gets population. And as you can see up here, we can hold a maximum of 12 clans. And uh, we currently have three. And each of these clans have uh, have a bunch of different traits. So, uh, Radolf, at the moment it has no profession. We'll talk a little bit about professions, discipline, uh, etc. in a little bit. But what are the clan traits? So, Meek... Your morale is halved, cannot be trained in social professions, never has desires, never engages in feuds with other clans, will never commit theft, and will never engage in brawls. Uh, but you're also afraid of water, so three turns are needed to enter tiles with streams, two turns needed to enter marsh tiles, training time for water-based professions doubled. Okay, so on the whole, you are not exactly ideal, but... Whatever we choose to do with you, we absolutely need to make sure that you're not going anywhere uh, anywhere near water. So that's something to keep in mind. Let's go and have a little look at the next clan. This is Clan Herrick. Uh, your clan traits are Paranoid, which is plus one vision range, minus one move point. Okay, so you may or may not be uh, good at exploring. We'll talk a little bit about exploring and what we can do with these uh, with these clans in just a little minute and we've got all thumbs training time doubled for crafting uh, experience in crafting halved uh, and likely to get upset with a year if forced into if forced into a profession in the crafting discipline okay that's cool and clan alman okay and you are obsessive training time halved in at least halved if at least three turns interesting obsessed with every desire likelihood of having desires is tripled charismatic morale for all other clans on the same tile increased by one quarter training time for social professions halved experience gained in social professions doubled no other clans on the tile may commit crimes never engages in feuds with other clans okay that's good um so a lot of that stuff is probably complete nonsense to you right now it's not entirely nonsense to me i'll do my best to explain it as we go uh but Let's just let's just play on as if that's totally fine. And um, you can see our uh, treasure out here, and you can also see our food. Food is really really important, as you can probably imagine. Um, people consume food, so there you go. Each of your clan's family consumes 0.2 food per turn. You start the game with three clans of one family consuming a total of 0.6 food per turn. 
there you go. Okay, so currently our settlement is idle, and this is probably the main screen that we are going to be uh, that we are going to be interacting with throughout the majority of the playthrough. And this is really interesting, really, because each of these different clans we can give a specific profession. So a profession. It's just a job, really, um, and we will need to make sure that we are giving everyone a bunch of professions. Let's take a look at the professions. So, let's sort of talk through it. So, Hunter, at the moment, Hunters can harvest meat by moving to any tile containing an animal heart, an animal herd and foraging. They can also identify unidentified animals. Hunters are also the first warrior profession available to you, though it isn't their primary job, etc, etc, etc. Reaper. Uh, reapers can harvest wheat, barley, and flax by moving to any tile containing a source of one of those plants. And foraging, they can also identify unidentified plants. During cold months, reapers are unable to harvest them, and this can be a good time to use them to identify nearby unidentified plants. Thanks for the tip. We'll talk a little bit about weather in just a bit. Gatherer. So, gatherers are kind of like uh, unskilled reapers, I guess. Uh, they can harvest fruit, honey, grapes, and olives by moving to any tile. They can identify unidentified plants. Uh, are only able to harvest from beehives and patches for berries in cold months. Interesting. Uh, digger. Digger can harvest minerals uh, by moving to any tile containing a mineral deposit and forging. They can also identify un uh, unidentified minerals. Cool. Uh, wood collector. This is pretty pretty self-explanatory really, but it harvests timber by moving to, uh, to, a, to a forest tile. And the explorer, which we touched on just a little bit earlier, uh, they Go exploring. Um, they can cross. Uh, they can cross terrain like hills and forests easily, and the only fashion which can explore deserted locations. Beautiful. They're also extremely fragile and can neither attack nor capture structures. Okay, so um, it's probably a good idea to if we uh, if we try and train an explorer, the boy that's paranoid might be a pretty good uh, a pretty good. A pretty good explorer. He also might rarely engage in a mild feud if there's another clan on the same tile. We need to be very careful about stacking up the wrong types of clans. These clans are all quite passive, but uh, you can get some quite aggressive people, and we want to make sure that we don't give them an opportunity to fight. And the primary way of doing that is by getting them out of the city and trying to get them into the big wide world. So let's put you into the uh, explorer trait. We're going to train up clan Herrick. It's going to take two turns as you can see uh, just up here. Training will be completed in two turns. Great. So after that we want to go and uh, study a profession and for all intents and purposes this is just research. Where do we want to where do we want to tech up into? Well that's the real question. Um, honor Honor is a whole bunch of stuff, really. Uh, it's mostly the fighting stuff, as you can probably imagine. Ag agriculture um, is agriculture, food, farming, livestock is farming animals, uh, metalworking, pretty self-explanatory, crafting as well, um, and also discovery. Discovery is just further, further down the exploration uh, tree as well. So a little bit of a slow start. It's okay. We're gonna we're gonna bump things. Um, we're gonna bump things right off. What are we gonna What are we gonna have a look? Let me just see what we've got around us. So we've got a couple of unidentified mineral patches over here. Well, that might be an idea to go and get metal working up and running. I'm thinking that that might be an idea. There's no real indication that any of these are particularly good at the moment. Maybe discovery. Maybe discovery so that we can get. Uh, so we can get. So we can get some stuff discovered. Let's do discovery for now. And as you can see, that is going to finish in one turn. So let us go swiftly to the next turn. I do believe that I've tried to explain pretty much everything. Um, also, the way that the map is drawn... There we go. Boom. Um, the way that the map is drawn... And actually, it's probably worth explaining the way that the times work first. Uh, so you basically have two turns a month. So you have early April and then late April, and obviously next month we're going to have early May and late May, and uh, that's pretty much how it how it works. We need to bear in mind in winter it gets colder and we need to deal with that. Uh, the way that the map is drawn, which is what I was going to talk about, uh, in the bottom right hand corner you can see the specific information about a specific tile. You can also leave a note um, attached to a specific tile. Uh, I haven't really found any need to do that yet, but might be might be something that you need to consider. Uh, so as you can see, there are rumors of an unidentified mineral. There's rumors of a beehive over there, and there's rumors of a field of wheat. Rumors of an unidentified animal. 
And this is a deserted village, which I believe we can explore with our explorer. Oh, goody. A new clan has joined. You are independent. Experience gained all disciplines tripled. Training time for settled professions increased by half. Training time for social professions doubled. Never has desired squeamish. Will never commit crimes. Morale halved. Training time doubled in livestock. Experience gained in livestock halved. Never engages in feud with other clans. Likelihood of, de of having desires halved. Okay, cool, I guess. That's kind of interesting. Um, so, we can now switch disciplines for a specific dude because we uh, finished Discovery. So, we are going to give uh, Clan Herrick our... Um, the discipline, I believe, of... Apparently, we can't do that. We cannot give him... All right, great. So, this whole discipline thing... Um, I'm really not exactly certain how this whole mechanic works. Uh, it's really kind of obscure, really. But you can train them up. You can train people up with regards to discipline if you have parchment. But unfortunately, we don't have parchment. Uh, it's really relatively confusing for a, for a mug like me. But there we go. At least he's got... Two levels in discipline, I guess. Uh, not uh, two levels in discipline. Two levels in the um, in the exploration discipline. Um, anyway, if we have a little look, you can see that we have uh, got a whole bunch more, whole bunch more stuff over here. Actually, um, yeah, two free levels in discovering, reducing the number of turns to train it in a profession. It professionals within that discipline. Okay, so that's interesting. So now, upon further reading, if we were deciding to train another dude in uh, in into being an explorer it would take less turns okay interesting so now we can decide to tech into something else i'm not really sure that we want to do anything specifically i don't think we want to do anything else in this in this uh, in this area i think we probably want to try and go for um maybe agriculture and then we can use those two free levels uh for the discipline to train up a gatherer let's do that let's do that okay and then let's finish the turn all right, boom. It's not gone totally smoothly, but hey-ho, it's it's going pretty smoothly. Okay, so Herrick. Clan Herrick, you have popped out. You are now a fully... I mean, you're a full explorer. How happy are you? Probably, hopefully, pretty pretty darn happy. Um, so, we can... we can You can just about see the, uh, the range, the range that we can really move to. Um, I'm going to get him to move down over here. And see if we can try and enter this deserted village on the hope that there is something interesting there. A new clan has joined. You're miserable. And you're independent. Okay. Great. And you're already ha you're already unhappy. Mood is never better than upset. Resource production decreased by 10. Resource pr production from con constructed structures decreased by 10. Experience gained in all... Okay, wow, you're just terrible. Um, that is just That is just useless, really. Uh, switch disciplines. Who do we want to go out and be our uh, forager? I mean, maybe, maybe you, or maybe, maybe even, maybe even the new, the new guy that came in. Let's, in fact, you know what, the new guy. Let's tr let's train the new guy up in uh, in being a forager. So let's train you in a profession. Uh, do we have anything that's worth reaping around here? I don't think so. I think we've just got the patch of berries, which we need a gatherer for. We've also got the unidentified plant, which we can also have a little uh, a little look at. Uh, study a profession. We'll deal with that in just a second. Beekeepers might be an idea if there's a hive just up there. Not training a clan. Let's train a clan uh, right now. Let's get a gatherer to go and gather some berries. Uh, yep, let's get you, since it's only going to take one turn, that's kind of nice. Um, also, we probably want someone to go out and gather wood. We probably want to get ourselves a wood collector or two, uh, but I think that we really need to just get food production underway first. There's a couple of large patch of berries, patch of berries. Okay, so there's, there's stuff that we can do in the winter, because you can still collect patches of berries in the winter, so we'll keep that in mind as we go. Uh, next thing that we probably wanted to do, as I say, is get someone to go and chop some wood for us. So let's go and get that set up right about now. Let's go to the next turn. I'm really not sold on the whole 
turn mechanics, the fact that there's a little mini loading bar that appears. Um, yeah, really not sold on that, to be honest, but hey-ho. Okay, so let's get you to head on up here, and let's get you to forage. There we go. And now, as you can see, we will have uh, a, a positive, a positive food value. So our food shall start to increase. Ah, there we go. Among the ruins of the villagers, explorers, your, your explorer finds a cache of 10 tools. Nice, good job. Um, let's just continue exploring as we go. Um, we need to switch disciplines. We now need to find someone who is going to, who is going to chop some wood. Um, I guess we can send you down to chop some wood. I'm kind of not keen on training her up to do anything. She's kind of not exactly ideal. Um, but maybe... I mean, sure, let's get Arndt to go, and, to go and do that, I guess. We might as well... Uh, we might as well... We might as well do that. Uh, you be a wood collector. Sure. Did I finish studying crafting and then just not give the role to anyone? Okay, I don't know how I was able to do that, but hey-ho. Um, there we go, study a profession. Yeah, okay, I'm not sure how I was able to give away the uh, the points, the two free levels. That's a bit silly, but hey-ho. Uh, wood carvers? What do wood carvers do? Produces, produce, wood carvers produce fame from tinder. All right, well, fame is, I believe, a resource which we can use to interact with other uh, other settlements in the world. Wood burners. Uh, timber production from wood collectors have uh, double the production of your wood collectors. Training them requires tools. Well, actually, it's funny that you should mention that video game. We've actually got 10 tools, so therefore we should go and do that. All right. That was a silly mistake, that which allowed me not to train that wood collector up in one turn. Don't quite understand how that happened, but hey-ho. Also, it's worth noting, by the way, that this is our score. Um, it's just an indication uh, of how of how well our game is going. Can I move over here? I don't think I can move out over here for some obscure reason, but that's okay. Uh, this new clan is petty, likely to engage in a mild feud within a few years... Uh, if there's another clan on the same tile and corrupt resource production reduced by one quarter resource production okay might commit a theft every few years um yikes that's not ideal that's not ideal at all but not much we can really do about that anyway let's go right on over to the next turn boom simple as that a caravan has arrived we can uh, we can deal with that in just a second uh, for now, let's get Arndt to come down here and uh, start collecting the wood. And let's get you out here. Oh, we have discovered a, uh, a, a little camp. Interesting. Interesting. It's a bandit camp. I'm not particularly interested in it right now, but hey-ho. Uh, we can buy some stuff if we'd like. Um, I'm not super interested in buying anything at the moment. We could buy some tools, buy five tools for 25 uh, no, not really interested in that. You can spend treasure to bribe the caravan owner to bring you a large, more diverse quantity of goods after spending 10. Okay, nice. Um, I'm not really particularly interested in any of the resources that the caravan will have or has right now, but there we go. Um, wood, wood builder, wood, sorry, wood bundlers is about to be done, um, very, very soon. Siegfried? Siegfried? I don't know how to say it, but hey-ho. Um, we'll train a clan in the digging profession. I don't really want to train you up in the digging profession because you're not exactly ideal. Uh, I also don't want to train anyone who has to cross on over into the marsh, so I guess we are left with training up Almon. Uh, okay. Training time halved of at least three turns. Well, it's a pity that we're not going to be able to take advantage of that, but I'm sure we will be able to take advantage of it a little bit further down the line. Uh, digger, Almon, let's get you... Let's get you to be a digger, and then let's go to the next turn. So, wood bundlers is now unlocked. We have that. Uh, we have that up and running. We is that the caravan up there? Oh, interesting. That's the religion screen. The victory progress. Train clan as Roman legion or become magister Mul magister multum. Very very cool indeed. Okay, the clans are idle, um, we need to get you to uh, forage. I don't know, really know why it's called forage, because it is pretty much just 
chopping down. It's lumberjacking. But, you know, I I am not uh, I'm not an expert in this. I'm not an expert in this. Okay, wood bundlers. We've now got wood bundlers. That's great. That's great, 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 great. Um, metal working? I... Hmm. 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 Yes. Beekeepers. Gatherers. We've already got... Yeah. Gatherers. We can get a gatherer upgrade. Gatherer upgrade 2. Which presumably... Spend 5 cloth to upgrade. No, I just want to do this one. Spend 5 tools to upgrade. Yeah, I actually want to go for that upgrade. Let, let's get the gatherer upgrade 1, which means that we can harvest berries at a more advanced rate. So we'll do that and then we'll uh, then we'll get it we'll get it to, we'll get it to Gisbert. Gisbert is going to be our our uh, our agriculture dude, our gathering bro. Um if you'd like. We're going to try and bring the explorer back up to the top. We're going to try and bring the explorer back up here. Uh, and you, you are now a qualified digger. And we're going to go to get you over there to identify the deposit. Also, it's worth noting that the little white bar, which I don't think is very clear, um, is an indication of how many resources, I believe, are, uh, are kicking around. There's an archer over there. Cool. And also, a new clan has joined. Loyal, mood is never worse than happy, never has desires, will never commit theft, and dutiful... Um, starts with four levels in honor, no experience gained in discovery, never has desires, never has engaged, never engages in feuds with other clans. Okay, wow, I'm trying to demonstrate the whole, like, uh, feuding mechanic and what it, what it does, but it's really difficult because everyone seems totally, totally chill. Um, give a leader reply, we've discovered someone. Um, this is the, this is the interface, this is Attila of the Huns, um, and he's haughty and vindictive. Great. Okay. Well, that's an interesting thing. Uh, you'll offer me a token of your appreciation. Give him some treasure. Uh, minus one reputation. Plus one influence. Plus one relationship level. I mean... Ooh. Defiant, hostile. I mean, we got a little bit of treasure. Let's give him some treasure. Sure. I think we'll get along well to Attila. I'm going to make loads of money, so I'm not worried about that for now. Uh, train a clan in a profession. A hunter, I feel, is probably the exact right thing for you. Let's get you uh, to be trained up in a hunter. That would probably be a very, very, very wise idea. Um, four turns for the caravan. Interesting to note, but it doesn't really matter. All right, let's go to the next turn. Boom. We haven't really seen many um, many things evolve on the map, but as we start to get towards winter, you are going to start to see things change. Also, this is worrying. He's very, very near. Wow, okay, yeah, that's that's kind of close. Uh, let's identify the deposit over here, see exactly what we've uh, exactly what we've got on our hands. And also you. So um, well, we need to try and discover exactly. Uh, where some meat is, uh, or some animals are, but there are no rumors of any animals anywhere, unfortunately. Oh, actually, no, tell a lie. There is actually rumors of an unidentified animal, and I do believe that hunters can uh, can do it. Water is the worst. Water is indeed the worst, if you are you. Um, I don't know why you particularly hate water so much, but there you go. Uh, is it perhaps time to maybe send someone out as our... Uh, as a as a gatherer with an upgrade, maybe uh, n not train anyone in any profession yet. Maybe it's worth getting another digger. Uh, we we will have a lot of a lot of stuff to do. Wood bundlers double the production of uh, wood collectors. Training them requires tools. Sure, let's get someone who is uh, resource production. Oh, you're you're pretty you're pretty bad. Let's train you up in wood collection then. Sure. Um, we're gonna spend a bunch of tools in order to get that to happen, but hey ho. What? Just floating out over here. Nice. That floats for quite a long way, but that's okay. This is still a, an early access game, so it's fine. It's no big deal. Let's finish the turn and go straight to the next turn. I'm kind of curious to see exactly what we've got going on. Okay, so let's get you to go up here. 
I do not want to go to war with anyone, but we have discovered we've discovered a hunter over there, and that is presumably Attila's hunter, and that's presumably Attila's archer, which I'm not exactly uh, thrilled about. There's a beehive right over there, which we can take, uh, which we can which we can utilize for sure. Uh, yeah, and I'm looking forward to utilizing. Have you identified this deposit yet? We've got another three turns before you finish identifying that. Okay, well, you're just continuing to, to gather. That's kind of nice. Uh, it's probably worth studying a, another profession. So, uh, we need five tools. We need to get ourselves some tools with the next, um, with the next, with the next caravan shipment. We need to, to, we need to try and deal with that. Also, we need to try and get some more animals because I'm not super happy with the number of animals that we currently have uh, because we don't have any animals. Uh, y the explorer is doing a good job of exploring, but unfortunately, I think it might be time if we sent him over this away uh, to see if there is anything, anything uh, of interest. We know there's a deserted village somewhere out there, rumors of a deserted village. Uh, but beyond that, we don't really have any indication whatsoever. Uh, let's set a profession to study. I do want to get someone trained up as a wood bundler, and I do want it to be this guy. Um, so what might be an idea is to bring him back, uh, get him to enter the settlement. Uh, duh, 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 duh. Studying a profession. Guides. Resource production from hunters, gatherers, and trappers increased by half. I mean, that's pretty good. Let's let's do that for now. Um, I'm going to cancel your uh, training because I just don't really care that much. Uh, I'm wood bundler, and let's just put that into there. Perfect. Right, so he's going to be upgraded to a uh, wood collector, a wood bundler. I don't even know at this point. Uh, so hopefully he will be the man with a plan and hopefully he'll come in really really handy and collect some some more wood That's really what we're going for anyway, um, and speaking of going uh, I'm gonna have to get going because that's uh, that's gonna be it for the end of the episode ladies and gents Thank you very very much for watching um, we're gonna be we're gonna be coming back to this We're gonna be coming back to this and hopefully uh, we're gonna be a little bit successful in uh, in identifying exactly what this is. We're hopefully going to have a bunch of other uh, resource spots which we're going to be able to, to dig into. The hunter is going to arrive at the animals and identify the animals and uh, we're also going to be able to dig some more berries and harvest some more berries and hopefully survive the winter which is definitely upcoming and we definitely uh, need to need to worry about it. Also hopefully Attila's not going to attack us too much. Anyway, ladies and gents, we're going to finish up there. Thank you very very much for watching. My name of course has been Oda Potato. This has been John Schaefer's At The Gates. I'll see you next time. Bye.